We have about one minute and 15 seconds, I think. According to Jackie, we we'll wait for 10 seconds. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, yeah, Chef? Uh, anyway, anyhow, I have to ready now. <laughs> we are both ready? Yep. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon from Bristol and good evening to the Malaysians. I am Zaliha and today on behalf of Masters of Malaysian Cuisine, we would like to welcome you all on board today for today's live cooking with Chef Bob. Hello Chef Bob, how are you? Hello everyone there! <laughs> so today is our fifth demo and we got Chef Bob coming in to cook a very very special dish and I am going to be here with you to chat and to answer any questions that you have in case you want to know what's the ingredients or anything that you missed. So, if you are in now, give us a quick hello in the comments box and tell us where you are streaming from so we could know and we could say hello to everybody. Um, if you're new here, just a quick introduction about us. We are actually a group of chefs from all over the world, from America, from USA, from Malaysia, from UK, from uh, Netherlands and also from Australia with a mission to introduce and share Malaysian food to the world. This project actually was initiated by Jackie M and she is based in Sydney. She's also a food blogger, she was a restaurateur and she's um, she's very famous as well. So I was over the moon when Jackie uh, contacted me and said, would you like to come and join the force? And I said, of course I would. You asked me to cook, I would. You asked me to do gardening, <laughs> no, 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 not going to happen. So. We are also very lucky, actually very, very fortunate because we had um, Tourism Malaysia supporting us and working in partnership with us in realising our mission to put Malaysia into the next holiday destination. Right. For those who are watching at the moment, all I need, I just need your help to actually shout out to your family, to your friends about us, about MalaysianChef.com. That is our website. Uh, go in there, sign up because you will get a free e-cookbook. It's already there, eight recipes on our website. And all the recipes that uh, we are cooking for this week will be also uh, put on the website uh, later on. So um, sign up and also make sure you subscribe. There's a button there, subscribe to our YouTube and you will get notification for the next uh, demo and cooking. Right, so now I have got the main part gone. I am going to introduce you to our chef. Hi, Chef Bob. Hello, Chef Zaleha. How are you? Hello, everyone there. How are you? Tell us about yourself, Chef. Tell us about yourself. I mean, I've got your profile here. It's very long, so I need to read it. I can't memorize them because <laughs> you have been working for so long. You have been in this industry like for so long. I just need to like Chef Kamarudin, but yeah, you are also known as Chef Bob, yeah. Yeah, definitely Chef Bob. How does that? How does Chef Bob name come into picture when you are Chef Kamarudin? Okay, uh, let me introduce myself again. My full name yeah. is Kamarudin Anin. All right, they call me Chef Bob uh, since I was uh, studying in the college. So that time my my body is like plummy, you know, plum. So they call me Bob. So everyone, <laughs> the, the, the student there, whatever is a big size, they call it Bob. So I was like a heavyweight before, but now I slim down to about 52 kilo gone. So Bravo. Gone better. Yeah. So um, yeah, I see as my in the resume, uh, I got 35 years uh, experience. I've been travel around the world. Uh, I'm working in the cruise ships. You know, and uh, do some my uh, hotel in Kuala Lumpur, in five star hotels, uh, opening hotel in Mandarin Orientals, uh, Westin Hotels. Also, I've been the Sheraton Imperial Kuala Lumpur for 10 years. Yep, and now I've been the corporate chef, one of the uh, company uh, uh, doing a flight caterings. And also, definitely, when working in, in, in this flight catering, of course, we, we need to expose all the, our Malaysian cuisines 
you know, uh, Malaysian mm. uh, local street food, you know, the famous one. So this is what uh, I'm doing. I'm also doing a uh, live, uh, uh, not live, I mean a uh, cooking video, uh, my own self, you know, to share to public uh, about uh, what I like, uh, what I uh, I want to do in when I do at home, I'm cooking for my kids, cooking for sometimes my, for my family. You know, this is all uh, is natural coming when when a family coming in. So cook is, mm. is the best you know, and eat together. So that's it's about me. All right. I also as the president of a Malaysian chef, uh, a professional uh, culinary associations. So mm -hmm. it's under mm -hmm. uh, World Associate, Associations uh, 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 Chef Societies. So we are the national body. So I represent for uh, Malaysian chef. I know that's where we met, isn't it? In 2018, we yeah, met at the World yeah. Chef Congress. Chef Congress, yeah, yes, that's right. And we clicked straight away, and we we become friends. And I enjoyed watching your Instagram video. It's so much fun. I love watching fun videos, videos and cookery thank demos you, as well. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, what what makes you left Malaysia? I know that from your brief profile, you worked in Petaling Jaya Hilton. That was your first job, yeah, in Petaling Jaya Hilton. Yes. And then you left. You left for the cruise ship. Interesting. It's yep. nice. Yep. Uh, when I was, uh, that was still young, 19 years old, 20 years old. So I need to, uh, in my life, I said, I need to get uh, uh, something new experience, you know, when young men uh, in mm -hmm. life, but to get a new something experience outside there. And then my friend is always saying, hey, come on, Bob, you, you, you still, yeah, we need to gain our knowledge. We need to get to look people, what people are doing outside there. So I try uh, going outside uh, in the three years in the cruise ships. So a lot of things I uh, experience uh, to see uh, people in our overseas, uh, what they're doing, what they're cooking, how the culture there. Yeah, I also share with the Malaysian culture, Malaysian food to, 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 to tell them this is Malaysian food, spicy food, they love it. So mm. that is about that is uh, in the cruise ship life. I've got I've got some hang on, I've got a little bit of problem here with my connection. I don't know what happened here. Right, okay. We have got a lot of messages here as well from our viewers. Uh, there's some asking oh, yeah. if it's vegan, but we'll get back to that one later. But do you, um, shall we start now? Because we know that you have a lot of experience and you are cooking one of my favorite, favorite dish from Malacca. And I'm going to yeah. ask you questions later on because I am very intrigued with your recipes, which is different than a lot of other uh, recipes here. Yeah? So shall we start now? Sure, again. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, before that, did you see how I'm wearing, what I'm wearing now? Oh my gosh, uh, I forgot to comment on that. Ah, uh, you, you, okay, now, uh, why I'm wearing like this? Uh, I'm cooking uh, asam pedas, actually, right? So, asam pedas, yeah. uh, actually, is coming from Johor. If masa asam, is coming from Malaysia. You know, asam pedas, is lots of asam pedas. So, asam pedas gerang, asam pedas uh, rempah, you know. But this mm. recipe is coming from uh, my grandfather, grandmother, Coming to my father, coming to my sister, and coming to me, I learn and I love it. This is I, I when we have family, when I get together, this is the dish. This must be asam pedas, you know, asam pedas ikan, asam pedas fish, asam pedas oxtail. And just now we talking about asam pedas oxtail, asam pedas oxtail. You should try that. So I will cook for you one day when you come back to Malaysia. All right? Okay, I, so, I will definitely try if you are the one cooking it for me. Yeah, sure, sure. Right, are you ready now? Yeah, I was ready. I'm excited now to cook. <laughs> You're born ready. Right, while you cook, yeah. while you cook, I will ask questions as well. Our audience are asking. We've got a lot of people here already asking questions yeah. about um, hi from Klang and we've got some who's asking. There's a Cindy from Sydney as well are saying hello to Chef Bob and Zaliha. Hi, and we got Chef Joe in the house. We've got our Chef, Chef Nora. We got uh, Mayang Adnin, and we got wow, Curly. Yeah, that's my sister. That's my sister. Oh, <laughs> oh, your Mayang Adnin. She lives in England, is she? Definitely. In High oh my Wickham. gosh, I have High Wycombe. Yes, I will... it's very close to me. I think I'm going to okay, check out on her. That's right. Yeah. So we have a lot of people. Um, someone said the someone just said, Oh, this is technical thing. Someone said notification is not working. 
she has subscribed, so I'm going to get Jackie to sort that one out. So, shall we start now? Sure, why not? We start. Right, so, I'm going to leave it to you. All right, Ken. So, uh, first of all, uh, Assalamualaikum uh, again. Uh, very good uh, uh, evening to everyone. So, maybe good morning to uh, some morning, afternoon to somewhere else, people outside there, in maybe in Australia, maybe in the US. Uh, in Europe, uh, you know, everywhere, where you, whatever, whatever you are. So today, me, Chef Bob, I'm wearing like this, with Tanja, it should be like kitchen warrior. So because I'm coming from Malacca, so when Malacca, it should be like Palawan. So and that's why I'm wearing the yes. Tanja. Tanja, yeah, uh, special for me. I bought this one only for this cooking uh, uh, session, you know. So I must look different. Uh, and also now I have a nice apron. Uh, see, it's Jau Kyoto. So it looks like more uh, chef Bob cooking. So I love it. What's that? What's that? The Jawi says. What's that? The Jawi yeah, says. The Jawi chef Bob cooking. Oh, uh, chef Bob cooking. Yeah, that's right. Chef Bob yeah. cooking. Amazing. That's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. So this is very special for me. So uh, I love you to wear this one. So I'm gonna wear this one also for my uh, uh, cooking session later on. So now the recipe is for asam pedas mm -hmm. oxtail. I know uh, uh, we can have a lot of asam pedas in outside there. Eh? We can asam pedas ikan pari, stingray, I mean asam pedas uh, siakap, kapal ikan merah. We have a lot of asam pedas. And asam pedas actually originally, like I said, it coming from Johor. And uh, if uh, asam pedas, uh, masak asam is coming from Malacca. But anyway, uh, this is a recipe, like I said, from my uh, father and to my sister and coming to me. And now I'm teaching to my wife, I'm teaching to my kids. So they will love to eat all these things. So let's move a little bit in front here. So I tell you what is uh, uh, the ingredient is. So I cook. I need to have a cooking oil. We need to have a shallot, uh, fresh turmeric, and then uh, we need to have uh, a garlic uh, about uh, 15 numbers, and then we have uh, ginger, fresh ginger. And uh, yesterday and last two days we talking about belacan, right? It's a uh, uh, shrimp paste. And also uh, for asam pedas, we need to have uh, uh, dry chili. This dry chili, actually, uh, we need to have a boil it, you know, uh, until all this uh, becomes soft and we need to uh, uh, strain it and take it out all the seeds, then we blend it, yeah? And then okay. uh, we, need, we need to have uh, black peppercorn, okay? So this all item, uh, yesterday, Pali made magic. I also want to make magic. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, after, <laughs> after you blend it, so it's going to be like a, a fresh uh, chili and uh, bawang, bawang putih, also everything is here. So, I already blend so, it uh, earlier. Okay. Okay. All right. And also, uh, I, we have need to have a, a fresh uh, a lemongrass, so right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, galangal. We need to use when cooking as a pedal this one i use a lot of uh, galangal you know uh, this galangal uh, make me a taste more flavor of uh, uh, sourness and uh, a bit of sharpness in when you eat the the, the, the the broth you know and definitely we need to have a uh, tamarind juice okay salt okay and mm -hmm. then, uh, this is uh, most important in malacca uh, not only thailand but it's only using for this one for malacca it's a cafe lime leaf Okay, and I'm using okay. uh, vegetables, uh, eggplant, uh, round eggplant. I cut the wedges. Okay, and then also uh, some tomato. I love to use tomato in in, in, in asam pedas. Sometimes people don't like to use tomato, but I love to uh, to put. Uh, it's up to you guys what to add in. Lady's finger also can. Is uh, sometimes if you want to use uh, vegan asam pedas, we can change. You know, uh, they also uh, can uh, use my recipe to change a little bit uh, to become a vegan uh, style. Okay. And mm. definitely, uh, we need to have uh, oxtail. Okay, uh, this oxtail, I already uh, 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 boil it to uh, become uh, three quarter cook. So, don't need to have a lot of uh, time to cook. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have two hour session to cook, <laughs> to cook only for oxtail. Oh, okay. So, I already replace it uh, about 45 minutes uh, to one hour. And then, definitely, mm. we need to uh, take a little bit of uh, uh, the oxtail broth to keep to have the asam pedas uh, sauce, yeah? So, okay. let's cook it now, okay? Right, all right. looking so forward. I all these uh, items first, okay? 
So after make magic, I already have the blended items. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we need to heat up the oil. Oil Melaka, if people Melaka when cooking asam pedas, they, they need to have a lot of uh, oil. So when they said in, in, in the Melaka, they said bagenang, bagenang oil, bagenang minyak. Something the sound, the dialect is like that, you know. <laughs> but but so you need a lot of oil, isn't it, in order for you to cook the spice? Yes. So when cooking this one, because they need to have a lot of uh, uh, spice inside there, so they all become uh, mixed together together with this uh, uh, chili and uh, uh, the blend of the uh, this onion. Okay. Mm. So okay, it's not enough. Really so we take take more. So let it hot. So I'm using a, a iron cast, so easy to cook. So, after heat up, we can put now everything. So this one is about for using for uh, one kilo of uh, uh, of steel, yeah. Okay. All right. So does does the blended ingredients has uh, lemongrass and galangal in it, or you didn't not blend yet. it? No, no, oh, no, okay. not yet. So this one, okay. only the blended the blend one, and only you, you are using onion. Uh, turmeric, turmeric, fresh turmeric, mm. uh, chili paste, uh, ginger, chili, and also black pepper corn. We blend it together. Okay, okay, so cool. Now, and now also you can straight away to put the uh, lemongrass and also a galangal. So let it mix together. Oh. Uh, this is secret recipe. Uh -huh. Interesting that you didn't blend them, yeah? Yo, I didn't blend, blend it. Uh, because I want the flavor, the fresh, uh, the smell, and also the fresh of a uh, flavor, galangal come out just like that, pop up like that. Okay. Definitely, and this one is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes uh, cooking, and then the they will bob up like a, the oil bob up like that. So that is an asam pedas. Definitely. If the best thing is in Kampong, is my, my hometown in Melaka, they're using a uh, uh, kayu api, arang, and those things, you know, so the smells more smoke. So that is the best one. Ah, interesting. Ah. All right. So if you can see now, it start uh, bubbling. I mean, it start to right. pop up on the chili. Yeah, then you can see that. Ah. So you, you cook it on high heat or just medium to low heat? Uh, I cook it in the, in the medium and high. In the first place, you need to have a very high cooking uh, uh, pressure. You need to very big so, uh, high high of uh, fire. So let it uh, really oil? Uh, boil it. Yes, but be careful. Right. Sometimes the, the, the oil is become pop up. Your hand, you know, your face need to be covered. So that's right. why you need to be very careful on this. And now, right. and now in my house now is. Smell asam pedas already. They start to smell, smell galangga, smell chili. You know, it's very interesting. Right, you said just now your food influence is obviously your mom, isn't it? You said because you're learning the cooking all comes from the generations. Yes. So your biggest influence in your cooking will be your mom. Actually, uh, my father is my influence. So no, my father is a good cook. He cook everything because uh, uh, my mom is passed away when I was ten years old. So my father uh, take over and he doing a own catering. He's a chef. Uh, he is doing. He is the one teaching me to go to pasar every four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Pasar, pasar borong, pasar cake. So every time when I was uh, uh, school Saturday, Sunday, I was uh, following mm. him. Uh, go to uh, went to market to to buy all this and learn all these things. No, see now, see now it's like uh, the potato now. All this one is become uh, uh, what we call this uh, boiling. Alright, uh, so down a bit. You turn the yes. heat down and you let it simmer, is it? Yes, it's ready. It's ready. Jumping now, the chili and everything, all these things. So, uh, can you tell me why? Uh, is it the way it is, or can you tell me why you don't blend the lemongrass and the galangal? Okay, uh, the reason why I didn't uh, blend the galangal and also uh, 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 
Chef, can you put your camera slightly closer to what you're cooking so the audience can see? I would like to see as well. Yeah, if you can see now, it's starting uh, bubbling. It's starting uh, a bit uh, cooking the chili. We need to cook uh, very well the chili uh, because inside here they have a black pepper also. The smell of black pepper, the smell of uh, uh, lemongrass, and galangal is starting uh, uh, overall in the house now, right? Right. Yeah. Wow. So do you do you measure do you measure your cooking? If you, my God. Okay, uh, let me tell you. Sorry, that's a phone if call. You have recipe, if, if you want to, to use uh, using a recipe, also can. But sometimes when we cooking, uh, some of the home cooking like this, normally we using agar agar. You know, it's one kilo yeah. of uh, uh, oxtail. Maybe you you using about three hundred grams of uh, uh, two hundred fifty to three hundred gram of chili. Uh, and uh, uh, shallot, you using about 200 gram, you know, and then also uh, uh, fresh turmeric about uh, 100 gram. So you can agar your 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 cooking when you doing how how much you want to to cook as a pedas. I see, I see. Uh, unless unless if you have uh, standardized, if you cooking in a uh, in a big uh, uh, bulk, you know, in, in industry, yes, you need a recipe. You know, like 30 kilo. Normally, I cook rendang about uh, 40. Uh, 40 kilo so I have a standard 40 kilo of meat 40 kilo of chicken oh my god really yeah. <gasps> so they have a big uh, big big uh, uh, big pan so they have a, we need to have a very standardized because we need to say have the same taste every time batch by batch uh, come out uh, oh wow well someone but, here just mentioned about you chef Nora, oh, it's Nora. Nora was saying Chef Bob is building layers. That's how you cook. You're building the layers of flavor, isn't it? By cooking it slowly, simmering it gently. I can't hear you. How is it? Uh, Chef Nora just mentioned here that Chef Bob is building layers. Yeah, he's getting layers. Layers of flavors, isn't it? I think that's what she meant. Because oh, when you okay, simmer okay. your food, the flavors will come I out see. a little bit at a time. Normally, normally if I cook, uh, like me, if I cook at home, I always uh, using uh, whatever uh, patience. Uh, you know, I uh, have to do try and error. Sometimes when I'm doing uh, oxtail, something like oxtail, sometimes normally my sister or my uh, uh, last time my father, they always cook uh, asam pedas in camera. You know, uh, mm -hmm. para, stuff like that. Oh, so that's I'm nice. Bit, I'm using oxtail, I'm using oxtang. You know, uh, is and the best thing I don't know how you, you know this is uh, uh, asam pedas uh, tetil. So yes, this yes, I know tetil, asam pedas tetil. Yes, this asam pedas tetil. If we keep for three days and eat with roti canai, I tell you, oh, that's the best one after three days. Heaven, isn't it? Yes, it's heaven. My my friend from Malacca taught me to eat okay. uh, asam pedas tetel with white bread. How is it? My friend from Malacca taught me to eat asam pedas tetel with uh, white toast, white bread. Sedap. It's very good. Yes, yeah, also using uh, uh, white bread, also sedap. Uh, definitely. Definitely. 
is uh, asam pedas uh, you can eat with rice you can eat with this uh, roti canai you can eat with this uh, white bread you know it's, it, it, it's very very common now Every, everybody love I don't know lah but for me asam pedas is one of the very unique taste and it, this is my uh, childhood uh, eat since I was uh, six years old seven years old they're teaching me with spicy for me it's not spicy it's no power Mm. Mm. Yeah, I I know that Malacca tend to have very spicy food, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Yes. So now uh, we're going to put this uh, uh, tamarind juice. Okay. Okay. We start to put tamarind juice. I think we can put. Uh, Right, this summer juice really uh, mixed. So uh, chef, yeah. somebody, my daughter, my daughter actually just asked me about the asam pedas, the herbs and spices. Do you can you swap any herbs or spices? Like we live abroad, sometimes we can't get the herbs and spices. Can you swap it, or it has to be that those uh, in your recipe to make a good malacca asam pedas? Okay, uh, if you want to change, this, sometimes. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the herbs, something we can, we, okay, we cannot get galanggal, you know. Mm. And then mm. with, uh, also, they can uh, use it, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Daud ni, uh, what is it? Uh, bunga kantan. Bunga kantan, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, people also bunga kantan. Also, the, some people from the north one, they have uh, daun kesom. Also, they put mm. daun kesom, right? But, so, but will it change the authenticity of your asam pedas? Will it change it? Can, 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 can. It's up to you guys. And then, like I said, asam pedas is very unique. Uh, they have asam pedas from Pahang. They have asam pedas from Johor. They have asam pedas from Perak, from Penang also. I believe they have asam pedas also. It's different, different style. Right? Mm. Yeah. So, so, so what is the uh, secret to a good asam pedas then? Is it the belacan? Because I know Chef Jo, uh, Chef Jo mentioned about his belacan, and I like Malacca belacan as well. So is it the belacan, or is it the uh, the chili type, or anything? What is it? Yes, the, the special is the belacan. It must be a belacan mm. uh, from Malacca. If you can use belacan from Malacca, it's very unique. It's totally different from uh, the shrimp paste is coming from Penang or from from other states. But Malacca is totally they have a round. Wrong bulat, uh, <laughs> that one. You know, that, that's the best one. If you go along this Aiko, Alugajan, along the street, that one, they're only selling their blachan over there. So you can find it, the blachan over there. Hi. So do you, right. you, do you only use blachan from Malacca then? Yes, yes, yes. This blachan is from Malacca. Exactly. It's okay, right. okay. Right, so, what are you putting in now? Yeah, so we can uh, put it uh, uh, upstairs now. Inside the one already mm -hmm. uh, boiled. Okay. Then we mix it. Okay. Wow. And then we also can put this uh, the broth of uh, boiling uh, uh, oxtails to balance. Mm -hmm. Can put together. Oh my word. Oh, wow, that is the best one. Color also nice. Tonight, uh, uh, I think the one to uh, already, they're waiting for me already. To eat. All right. <laughs> Sit. Uh, right, Chef. Oh, uh, what do you. Kids. Sorry, what was it again? My kids, somebody asking me just now in the earlier and said, Daddy, what are you going to cook? I said, I'm going to cook uh, asam pedas, uh, eko asam pedas. Okay, I wait for you uh, finish cook. I eat together with you. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? So, what do you put in your I in your uh, eko when you boil it in the oxtail when you boil it? It's just boil like that, or do you put anything else in it? No need to put anything. Uh, uh, it's just plain boil, but you need to wash the uh, oxtail first, make it clean, then you boil it as a normal. But few people, some people, some recipes, uh, they put it. Uh, to make it more sour, they have to put uh, 
put they put uh, asam keping or something like that. But it's depend. But for me, I don't like to put anything. I want to let it uh, uh, a fresh flavor because of uh, uh, inside the chili, the bawang, everything we I done ready inside there. The herbs already there. So that's why I want okay. a plain broth on on this. Uh, do you use pressure cooker or you just boil it on the? I. I have a pressure cooker, but I because you say it I takes longer, normal. it takes long to normal to boil the yes. oxtail. Yes, normal, normal. It's about one hour, forty-five minutes to one hour. Ah, okay. All right. So right. Here. Okay. We have got a belacan war here, chef. Okay. We've got a belacan war here from our audience. They were saying the Tanjung Dawai belacan is the world's best, apparently from Chef Joe. <laughs> oh, that's from, from Chef Joe. And Chef Joe said, you have tried my eclectic oxtail asam pedas tossed with pasta at my restaurant before, right? Uh, yes. I think my children finished the whole bowl, Chef Joe. When we went to Chef Joe's restaurant, Chef Joe made the oxtail asam pedas and the children actually whipped, wiped the whole yes. bowl off. <laughs> now, now it's become a, a, a people's, uh, and especially the young, young, young people, young generations, you know. They love to eat pasta with asam pedas, you know, some some east and west mix it. Also now it's Korean, Korean with this nasi goreng, they mix in all these things. You know, that is a, a new style of a, a, a version of a new young young generations. But don't forget, the most important is a, a original recipe, the taste flavor must be there. You cannot uh, go shortcut, you cannot go for uh, halfway to, to cook, but you need to cook properly and the fresh ingredients, that's the best one. I see. There you go, guys. That's the, what you call it, a brilliant advice from Chef Bob who has been cooking this like for God knows how long. Yeah. Can I have a look at your asafadas again, Chef? Come, 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 come. Oh my All God. Right. Look at that. I am salivating. Uh -huh. So sedap. Oh, it looks so one, good. This one, 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 Mereci hawaw or is it? It's a little bit Dio. rough on the 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 the, the winds, but that is normal, norm, norm in 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 Malacca, you know. Uh, if if in, in when I was in Malacca, I stayed with my my auntie is always in. I was uh, staying in Peringgit, you know. My auntie last time she hey hey the 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 Bob hey the the Dayang hey the I uh, something like chokat chokat something something like hey come come ali me mai makan mai makan something like that. So that is when I cook this one, I was remember all this. Uh, the people that are always teaching me, uh, my fathers, you know, is this is a generation's uh, a recipe. So I, I cannot, All the uh, I cannot cool. live with this. Yes. Yeah, it's it's beautiful memories, isn't it? Every time you you cook something that brings a lot of beautiful and joyful memories, it's the best thing ever, isn't it? Yes, definitely, definitely. So now it's starting to put uh, uh, down lima, kapi lam leaf. Okay. You know this, uh, okay. My, my father and my sister teaching me. He said, uh, Bob, when you want to cook asam pedas, you need to take it out one secret recipe to make it uh, this uh, flavor and smell more better. You need to take uh -huh. out this, uh, uh, what we call this, uh, come uh, uh, closer. This is batang of uh, uh, daun limau. You need to pull it out. Uh -huh. you know, oh, that middle bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't that, know why it's called. You can Please, smell now. Now. You can smell now. It's very fresh and and uh, the flavor is very nice. So this is the one of the secret. Also, when you're cooking uh, asam pedas, you need to have to, to do this. So you pull the middle bit. So you don't put the whole the leaf hole in the asam pedas. Yes. Yeah, I take it ah. out this, uh, this one and then I pull it inside. All right. Ah, so that is secret, lah. And that is another and secret we learned today from Chef Bob that you pull out the middle bit of the. Yeah. Uh, cafe lime leaves. Interesting. I've yeah. never done that. I learned it once from my Thai friend. She said to pull it out as well. But I yeah, think so. Having what was it? You can put it together all, but uh, I don't know. But for me, uh, when we doing, definitely it's going to be a difference of uh, uh, flavor and smell on this. Mm. Oh gosh, that looks so so good. Yeah, see, look at that. Oxtail. Then it comes so uh, right together. 
about, yep. maybe about five to ten minutes. Let it boil together. Uh huh. Does the does the stove? You can ask a questions. Yeah, guys, do you want to ask questions? I'm here to pass it on to Chef Bob. But this is my question: Does the broth, the sauce, have to be thick or thin? Uh, yeah. For me, I don't like too thick because when eat, I eat asam pedas, I like to have uh, something some like when you put it in a spoon, like ah, the smell. Love it! Oh my god! <laughs> the smell must the, the the sound must be like that. This is a torture for me. I have to make some pedas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, that looks so good. I mean, I mean if, uh, uh, if you, another thing that I like, uh, uh, besides of the uh, some oxtails, I always uh, use it uh, uh, fish head, the red snapper fish head. Uh, that one, I love it so much. You know? Uh, right. Especially, especially people like me that have to like to eat. I, the first one I, I tackle is the eyes of the... Uh, Fish, you know, <laughs> the eyes and also the, the tip of the <laughs> of the fish. Okay. Want, uh, and is it? It's a big. It's a big fish head, isn't it? Not a small one. Yes. <laughs> okay. Someone it's, said it's, there are one? there are different kind of asam pedas as well. Someone uh, said if you use different kind of belacan, would it count, or you have to use uh? Belacan from Malacca to make a good. Is there any difference between the belacan, apparently? Actually, and some also. Actually, uh, if you have to use a bean belacan from Penang, also can. You shouldn't have a, a much of a, a problem or, or flavor. Maybe yeah, if I like to use this uh, from Malacca because the originally, originally the taste and the flavor, the, the the way they're making the process, it could be a big difference if you, if you, uh, if you can look on this. The smell, you know, uh, that's different. But still, you can still can can uh, use uh, belacan from other states, Penang or Perak or Jakarta Tengganu also can. Should be no, shouldn't have a problem with that. Right. And somebody here, Dayang Nafisa. I think it's your sister, yeah. Yes, that's my sister. So she's mentioning she's about uh, asam pedas that use kerisi. It's called asam pedas rempah. What is that? What's the difference then? Yes. Is there a something just that use curry steak? Yes, I do, I do, I do. They, 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 they use curry steak and then they're using a rumpa like a, a jintan, this, a, what we call this, a, a, a fenugreek, a humble and all these things. They, they're using all oh. these uh, spice and herbs. Oh, so, I see. Chef Dave was saying, uh, his asam pedas will never go near to yours because his is big using vegan belacan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, meanwhile, we're talking now. Now we can yeah. uh, let me take some uh, uh, spoon, we can put a little bit of salt. Okay, now, it's almost done. Right. And then we also can uh, add uh, the vegetables now, the eggplant. Oh, you put the wrong eggplant. Okay. Yes, we can put it now. Right. And then also you can add now uh, uh, the tomatoes. Okay. So that's all the vegetables you if put you in, is it? If you want to put tomatoes, you want to put a little bit less. Also can. It shouldn't have a problem because tomato very fast to cook. But uh, yeah. I love to eat uh, tomatoes and a little bit of salt. So uh, I don't like to be too hard on, on tomato when eat. You know, because I have yeah. the eggplant here. Yeah, right. I agree with you. I like I like mushy. I like really mushy tomatoes as well. Yes. So now if I like to let me have a little bit small spoon of a. Uh, uh, like yeah. <laughs> um, little bit more so. that looks so good right. can can we have a closer look again for your at your asam pedas sure. please mm. i am salivating to be honest oh my god that is cool <laughs> Oh gosh, that looks so good. Guys, what do you think? 
Oh, somebody said she put labu air. Labu air. Labu air is yes. the white one, is it? Also can put the labu air also can. Hmm. You know, but <coughs> oh, that is so good. So good. You can put uh uh what you say, labu air, right? Also can oh, but you need to uh, but very fast because labu air is very <laughs> very uh fragile and and when you put it in the hot uh, simmering spot, it's gonna be very soft and then become a watery so much. So it ah. depends. Uh, if you like to put yes. some uh, another vegetable, ladies' finger also can. Oh, I love ladies' yeah. finger. I, I put ladies' yeah. finger in my asam pedas usually and tomatoes. Yeah, the ladies' finger normally, uh, if I put, I when I cook it with, in, with the fish, you know, fish, uh, <coughs> red snapper fish, then I put it in mm. the finger. When I'm using uh, uh, meat, <coughs> I'm using the eggplant and tomato only. Ah, okay. Wow. Somebody said, somebody you said, oh, it's that. your sister as well, I think. Siti Hajar said that you can put sawi jeruk. Is it correct? Yes, the sawi jeruk also good. Definitely. And our, and our chef, our chef Pearly said, Pinan use pineapple in asam pedas. Oh, I love pineapple in asam pedas as well. Yeah. You know, this, uh, when I cook, I will tell, I will tell my family, I will cook uh, live asam pedas. You know what, what they said? Don't worry, I put it a lot of advice there. Sawi, jero, labu, what else? Whatever the tip that I will share to you guys also. They said, oh, yeah, okay, then I'll to you guys. Fantastic. Yeah. So how, so, how long do we wait until this uh, aubergines, the terong, are cooked? Uh, it's about uh, another, now it's about another uh, three, four minutes more. So okay. then uh, you're going to be ready. Okay. So do you, uh, how about the, uh, what do you call it? What was I going to ask you? I forgot. I forgot totally now. <laughs> Never mind. We're just going to continue. <laughs> I was going to ask something about the food, but I forget. What, what did you say? I was going to ask something about the asam pedas, but I totally forgotten because I looked at asam pedas and I drool. Totally forgotten what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Let me let me tell you after this uh, why the sapodas need to eat with what you know what okay. I already get ready uh, uh, pairing with the sapodas you know mm -hmm. I'm a Malacca one they eat with cencalo here you know the cencalo oh. with telur masin with the ulam of uh, uh, timon uh, cucumber and also katam also for inga beans and if you like to put the down salad also can sedap so, so good. Yeah. This one, if you eat with the, uh, what we call this, uh, uh, hot uh, uh, steam rice, wow, mm -hmm. it's a killer. Fantastic. Yum. So you're going to spoon out now, do you? Okay, let me try one more time. Let me try. Let me try, please. Oh, heaven, heaven, heaven. <laughs> heaven. <and> heaven. <laughs> Salivating. <laughs> Look at that. You, 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 I close up. You see, look at that. The, hmm. the oxtail is already done. You know? Uh, see? Look at the fat. But don't eat too every day this oxtail. Otherwise, you become fat. You know? Uh, oh, see. God. They look right. so good. Yeah. Now, time to serve. Yeah. Okay. Let me put it in the uh, bowl. Slowly, speak like Raman Rahim. Oh, wow. All right. There we go. Oh, my God. That looks so good. Yeah, we go. Another one. Oh, tonight, uh, my diet uh, for tonight gone. My cheat day. <laughs> That's a that's somebody from Paul uh, from uh, San Diego, California. Say hello to you. Um, uh, she's Pauline. She she's a friend of mine as well on Instagram on uh, Facebook. She did mention that she's gonna try to. Uh, yes, watch. you should. Yeah, and what? So she's saying hello to you, Chef. Hi, hello, hello. You should try this. 
and then you can uh, in my Instagram or my Facebook, you can uh, share it and tag me. So, you know, this is a, a nice dish. Uh, like I said, I now, when I'm diet now, I'm very rare to take, take uh, rice. I take only mm. uh, some little bit of uh, bread, slice of bread, and eat with this. Um, even though this is, is a cheat day, it's, it's almost the same things, rice and bread, but as mm. long as mm. the, the, the taste, as long as I can feel the oxtail, I can feel the asapadas, that is lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. It's lovely. It looks so, so good though. Oh my gosh. Okay, last, Look at that, last, guys. Look at last that. Scoop, last scoop. Last scoop. Okay, <sighs> yes. Then I might change my mind and try your oxtail or some pedas when I come home. You should. You should. And I will. Also, inshallah. Using, using the uh, ox tongue also. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Now it's ready. The asam pedas. So pairing with this chanchalo, uh, they have a uh, uh, salted egg. They have four ingredients, mm. beans. All right, mm. four ingredients. beans. They have cucumber and also down salo. So it's going to be a lovely dish for your family dinner or family lunch. Or if you have in the restaurant, uh, want to sell it this one, a bowl for this with uh, steamed rice. It's a killer dish. Try it, I tell you. Voila. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chef Bob. That was really, really, really good. I am salivating. I'm drooling. Look at that asam pedas. So amazing. Guys, whoever is watching now, if you have any questions, we have a few minutes left with um, Chef Bob. And before we sign off, if you want to say anything, uh, I'll go, I can pass it on to Chef Bob. Anything else that you want to ask questions? If not, uh, we're going to say, what is that? Do that, 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 Ketu, oh gosh, I don't understand that one. Okay. Asam pedas is the next day with bihun, she said. Is it, it's like eating asam pedas with bihun the next day, somebody said. Is that true? Oh, yeah, that's, that's why I said uh, in Malacca, Malacca people, they eat this uh, asam pedas after three, four days, they keep it in the chiller or they keep it in gobo or something like that. Eating they up. keep it in yep. chanai. I tell you, it's, oh, it's like heaven when you heat up, it's in small pan. Ooh. They go, awesome. they go straight away like uh, your mind is like uh, free and, and having with, you know, with thick, thick sauce. Oh, that's lovely, lovely, lovely. Awesome. Lovely. Don't, don't tempt me more because <laughs> I am going to so make them like. So guys, uh, whoever's watching now, we're going to finally wrap up in a bit. I would like to say thank you very much for watching us, watching me and Chef Bob today. And don't forget to subscribe to our website, MalaysianChef.com. Uh, we have one set of recipe in there already and we will continue putting on recipes once all the chefs have finished cooking uh, until Friday. And from there, most importantly, tune in tomorrow to watch another chef cooking different kind of food and definitely Malaysian dish. Uh, chef Bob, do you have something to say before we sign off? Okay. Uh, uh, the thank you is a little, little bit long. First of all, thank you very much, Tourism Malaysia. Thank you very much uh, uh, to my family, my wife, my sister, you know, uh, my kids. They always give me uh, uh, a good one, uh, uh, what we call this, uh, uh, support on these things. My brother, you know, uh, and my friends, lots of tell, tell me, I tell them my friends, I said I am very nervous to book live. I always do a video. Uh, chat, we can do it. So I do it tonight. So this is all for you guys. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Chef Norma Musa, Chef Dalia, thank you very much, Chef Jackie, okay. Dave, uh, Perli, uh, Chef Nora Harun, Rene. You know, I'm, I'm only a guest chef to replace uh, 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 what you call it, Chef uh, Rene. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. I hope, I really wish I can stay on, but anyway, maybe uh, next uh, uh, occasion or make next uh, uh, event on this. Thank you very much again, the resolution. Thank you much, everybody. I love you guys. Try and ask some pedas. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, who watched today. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to get in, get the free cookbook and uh, join MalaysianChef.com today. Uh, join today and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Chef. Bye. Bye.